Hi, I'm Dave from Locomotion Models. Welcome to the Monday Club. It's Monday, it's 7pm, and the Bronx are on parade. It's time for the Monday Club, featuring your host, Jennifer Park, with the help of the Covered Monkey, and your host, with the Toast Top Tea. And the musical stylings of Gordon, the music maestro. Let's get ready to loco. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, and welcome to WWC Next. We are an award winning specialist and manufacturer for miniature scenery modeling. We are proud to have produced one of the best selling Prograss micro applicators and we've refined our quality products and systems with both beginners and expert modelers in mind. We supply and manufacture everything you may need from static glass applicators, static glass tufts, handcrafted MDF and hand poured resin products, all designed and curated in house with you, the modeler in mind. You can find us at www.cmix.com or in store at Unit 6, Buford Court, Plasmal, Swansea. A big hello to you. It's great to see you and I hope you find you well. It's Monday and that means only one thing. It's time for the Monday Club. Here I am with uh, the Cupboard Monkey, Monkey of Ultimate Madness, and of course, Topsy Toaster, who is getting quite excited here. <laughs> so, um, you give him a big hand. Yes, I did actually. So it's the host wood, with wood. the toast. It's great to see you guys. We've got Valley's 56XX, Patrick Link, SHGP Media, uh, Dundas Junction, Jerry BVR, Va uh, Hot Dog Pilot Andy, Patrick Link, Peter Jackson, Cheadle Heath, Simon Snow, Alan Pollock, Warbler Productions, Ralph Davey, and Mike Lane, TT120, Patrick Link, Mouse Hole Rail, Flymo Chairman One, David Scott, uh, Harry Sedgwick, Peter Jackson, Cheadle Heath, Malcolm Moore, Original, Stefan Svensson, Ham Shackleton, Rick Morley, Simon Trains and Mother Railway Showcase, Aaronville, 3B Rail, Awesome Bricks, Wamgok, uh, Jerry BBR, Martin Parkinson, uh, Mel's G'day, great to see you, uh, DCC Locomotive, James, Smallwood Junction, so great to see you guys. And of course, a big thank you to our new sponsor. Absolutely, as you may have noticed, we've got a slightly different intro, first of all, to make sure that the host with the toast is properly name checked but also a big thank you to War World Scenics who are the current sponsors of the Monday Club so um, you saw their little trail at the beginning and uh, we should have a link in the description box to help you find the War World Scenics range and certainly if you see grass on my model railways you're seeing War World Scenics products um, but um, anyway, what's in the news? Well, coming up uh, next weekend, we have got the Pico Open Day at Rails of Sheffield. So this is a chance to go there and view and talk about all things Pico. And uh, in addition, what else have we got? Well, we've got, um, I don't know, what have we got? Uh, the Newton Chambers car transporters from Hellion coming through. Lionheart Trains, uh, 262 Manning Wardles in 016.5, we mentioned those last week uh, coming through. And there's also, I think it's West Hill Wagon Works are promoting a competition for YouTube Moderator of the Year. So uh, we'd like to put forward uh, the, um, the ever-talented Flymo Chairman 1. Uh, I'm sure that uh, he'll put a link up, but uh, definitely Flymo Chairman 1 has been an amazing moderator, been here since day one, never missed a Monday club. So um, do tickle a vote in there if you can, um, and it'd be great to reward uh, the, uh, the moderators that do so much. Um, what else is going on? Well, my little nephew Henry has very kindly uh, loaned to the show uh, his brand new A4, we weren't able to run it, unfortunately. There was a little bit of a, um, a, a, an incompatibility issue between 
the DCC world that we've got here and uh, and that locomotive. So uh, and you didn't have a chip to put in it. Unfortunately, unfortunately not. So Henry, your locomotive is in pride of place, being watched over by Topsy Toaster. So it's all good. And of course, be good to your brother, Charles. Hello, Charles. Um, and uh, what else have we got? So, oh, um, James Petz is in. I do approve. Peachy TT120 says Flymo should walk it. Alan Reynolds of Buckland Junction says Flymo would my... fly it. Yes, he'll Flymo it. <laughs> get a get a really really crisp cut, and also have one of those um, uh, grass bags that kind of compresses all the grass clippings down. I think we're mixing metaphors here. Daz Faulkner, how that do? doesn't sound like Will you. Will Tucker. Um, Patrick Ling says, don't forget to tickle the like button. Absolutely. Do share the stream to social media. And if you haven't already done so, please, please, please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, ringing that notification bell. And even if you are subscribed to the channel, ring the sub <laughs> ring that bell. Otherwise, YouTube's very good at hiding stuff from you. Uh, TARDIS and Open Wagon on Goods Train, says Richard Swiderski. Hey, there's no flies on you guys, is there? Um, I don't know where the other one is. Um, uh, actually, I do. I've just been seen. Ah, John JMC, our guru of sound. Great to see you. Hope you are well. Uh, Kev McKay, 85, says TARDIS spotted on train going round. Already, my goodness. Diesel goods train with breakdown trains. Yes, yes. Blackwood, Growler Blackwood, engage layout. Great to see you. Um, I hope you're well. Uh, King Fox Junction. Um, <coughs> Jennifer Hortons is great choice, Henry. A4s are cool. Absolutely. And we did put on um, my um, my blue A4, um, which which is, is behaving itself and going round. So you'll, you'll see there is an A4 trundling around. Uh, we've also got a Class 46 on the really, really deceptively long goods train that's going round. And that's an older Backman 8-pin chassis version. Simon Trains... <coughs> He says <coughs> he didn't know Luigi was into cars when he watched What's Neat this week. Have you never played Mario Kart? <laughs> it's a me, a Mario. <laughs> Luigi's always driving a car in Mario yeah. Kart. J94, great to see you. Um, we got Mouse Hole Rail, Let's Make Tracks, Ben Tullet, Go For It Painting. Hello to you. B2000 RO Toys Channel. Hi, Jenny and Zoe. I've just finished rebuilding the front. Of my kit bashed OO gauge, Daisy the Diesel Railcar. I'm very happy Daisy, with her progress. Daisy, Absolutely. I think it's Daisy's, um, I can never remember, is Daisy a class 101 or a 121? Um, I can never quite remember. Um, I think she's only a single single rail car, isn't she? So that'll make her a 121 or a 122. Um, Ivo Van Zon, great to see you. Dion Wollaston says, hello, ladies. Oh, sorry, I'm late. Oh, there's somebody else coming in A now. Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely <coughs> when they mean to. Absolutely. Thanks, Gandalf. Great You're welcome. You. Where's the biscuits? Ah. Will Tucker says, an A4, GWR Flying Banana and Class 25 on adjacent tracks. My kind of railway. Oh yes, we've got. Uh, this is definitely a rule one establishment. Zoe, would you mind fixing the camera? Oh, what's uh, happened? What have what, you done? Oh, what, Daisy what, is what a one hundred and one. Um, a single unit one hundred and one. Um, yes, uh, Ham Shackleton. Yes, Daisy was the song that Hal sang. Although not about the diesel rail car from Thomas the Tank Engine. You never pa know. Mm, Patrick Ling asks, what are you drinking? Well, the beverage of choice tonight is fizzy water with a wee dab of uh, Co-op's own black currant cordial. Mm. Whereas I'm preferring in my fantastic uh, Breaking Bad mm. mug. I am the one who knocks. I am <laughs> having Aero Mint Mocha. <coughs> Oh, my word. Peachy TT120 says, um, I've been a naughty boy, Jenny. <gasps> Ooh, slaps bottoms all round. Says, uh, I've bought an O-Gage GWR pannier. Actually, no, that's pretty that, good. That's not going to fit on your TT120 rig. <laughs> well, you'll have to have two tracks, and they'll have to be just the right width apart, and then technically it would work. Um, <laughs> King Fox Junction says, you need a drink, Jenny, for that Halloween frog in your throat. I just need hydration at the moment, but I do feel... A lot better. It must be said. 
um, slowly, slowly getting over the um, choo-choo flu that picked up at Getz. Um, Jen? Zoe? What's in the news today? In the news today, I have no idea. <gasps> have uh, you been slacking off? Yes, like I a have. slacker who slacks off? Yes, it's your job. Yours, you're supposed to keep up with the news, so I don't have to. I don't I keep do up with the news. I do that Pico, um, all new TT120 wagons are now available Oh, um, nice. It looks really good, actually. Some really nice liveries available. So, the TT120 range is expanding. Now, it's been the Gaiden show over this last weekend. Now, I didn't go, but um, um, it was, I think it was the first big, big show that Hornby have had a stand at. Actually, no, they were at Getz. I tell a lie. They um, were at Getz, they I yeah, because one of the locos. Yeah, and I went and talked to them as well. Yeah, yeah. And so, <laughs> so <laughs> a memorable occasion. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's so memorable. I can't remember what I was doing. Um. So, um. Paul Murphy says, "Good evening, everyone." I Hello. gave a like. Boom! Yay! That mm. does sound like he's late. Grand off. A Monday club over is never late. Toto wagons. Nor are they early. <coughs> they arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Madden Steam Railway says there were both 101 and 121 <laughs> models around on the railway. The 121 is the single version of the 117, and the 101 is the single version of the 108. Uh, not entirely true. The 101 is a design unto itself. It's got very different cab uh, designs um, uh, compared to the 108. Um, the 101... I think they were always either two or three car units, and they may even have had a four car version. Um, it was all very peculiar because I think something like um, the the centre car units on the one no one were originally classified as something like a a one two four or something like that. Um, awesome Brick says Toad Hall wagon. Um, toad of Toad Hall. There is a toad brake van at the begin at the very beginning of that very long uh, goods train. Um, mm, yes, there is. So yes, mm. which you'll see coming around in about a minute. Yeah, Spalding this weekend coming says SHGP Media. I'll be there both days. Um, Tim's model railway in different videos says, "What? Where's your Halloween costume, Jenny? I'm wearing, wearing it. it. I've come as a as a middling level YouTuber. You, you've come as a grandma." Hey, what? <laughs> I've come as some muppet who happened to get into uh, YouTubing about trains. Uh, James Pet says there were two car and three car units. The two car units had a driving motor and a driving trailer, whilst the three car units had two driving motors and a trailer. Um, yeah, um, the the class one hundred ones. Household um, Rail says they were the, their favourite first gen DMUs. Um, <coughs> we had them until quite late around here. I think. They were like the last stalwarts of the first generation DMUs, right up until about 2000. First, um, first great, um, first, first Northwestern. I got there in the end. First Northwestern were running them in heritage liveries up to um, around that time when they were finally withdrawn. So I do remember them. Um, I also remember riding on. I think it was the class 108s around here. It might have been 110s. Uh, but certainly, um, it's, um, I do remember the good old days of first generation DMUs. Proper chuffed OO Railway says, You're not middling, Jen, you're one of the best. Oh, thank you. Oh, Topsy's getting jealous because. Uh, Topsy's not jealous, he's happy for you. Look at his eyes. Yeah, I suppose so. The thing about Topsy is, he is the host with the toast, and he is the reason that people come. We're, we're just here to help out Topsy, are we not? Yes. So there we go. Right, anyway, enough about the toaster. He says, don't be rude. Uh, 1968 Concord, great to see you. Ben tell it. Um, we've got Iron Horse Railways in. Uh, John JMC, our guru of sound, says, big news. I have brought a first great Western Class 08. John, oh yes, you were looking for one last week. I'm glad you managed to find one. Uh, DCC Locomotive James says, Scotland have them work until 2005. Uh, James Pett says, ah, first generation DMUs. The nostalgia. And we all thought they were rubbish until they were gone. Um, <clears throat> at some point, I'll get the cupboard monkey to go and give the uh, flying banana a prod. It seems to have stopped. Um, yes, James Pets. We are, of course, as always, Topsy's loyal assistants. Um, 
Knockers Lanes is converting my TEE4 car to Bluetooth and a function only decoder in the dummy engine. A lot of work involved. But um, the Bluetooth is actually quite good fun. Um, Fat Weller Boy 2 says, Evening latest Batman announcements are this Wednesday. And yes, uh, we will be doing a little bit of a live stream uh, later on that morning. You'll have to look out for when it's going to be starting. Ah, Monkey of Cupboardness, would you give the, um, the the thingy over there a little bit of a prod? It's it's doing its special thing. So um, I'm going to give it... You mean you're trying to make it go around the thing that it really shouldn't? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I've given it a little bit more beans. Oh, big hello to New Junction. Great to see you. And we I didn't even we have all to know. chant three times for that. I think we all know. Beans <coughs> means fart. Yeah, and you've had a full tin on two days. Two days on the trot, you've had a full tin of beans. I will be I on said the earlier trot. on, I said, have we got any beans? And she went, no. But where are they all? And she went, in my belly. And uh, it was true. Um, David Scott's a second TARDIS not on this camera. Uh, the second TARDIS, I did spot it out the corner of my eye. Um, beep, 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 Oh, in fact, actually, right, Zoe, you need to um, do your special thing. I've got a thing to do. Do I need to do a special dance? Yes, you do. Hello, I'm Scotty. I'm Scotty. Hello. Hello, I'm Scotty. Can I have a bath? Are you finished being silly? No. Says the person who's next to the toaster. <laughs> Right, Ben Tullett says, hot off the press, Hornby's Wonderworks is now open. Oh, yes. That's... Yeah, the new name for the Hornby Visitor Centre. Yeah, I got the email earlier on. I almost put it in spam because I had no idea where it was. <laughs> but, um, well, I... they didn't call it right. It says, welcome to Wonderworks, which just makes it sound like it's just a generic spam email. Call us cynical, but maybe we've had an awful lot of spam emails. Jan, catch. Yeah. Catch. <laughs> He's a cuddly <coughs> bag. Right, um, somebody said, uh, uh, where's it gone? Yeah, 1968 Concord says, all those beans, no wonder the wind's up, phew. Um, hey, it's not all me. Let's make tracks there. Scott is in. Yeah. Hello, I'm Scotty. I'm Scotty, yeah. hello. <laughs> ben Davis says, I hope we get a T3564 in London and South Western Railway Green at Swanage. Yes, the T3 has finally um, come back into steam. Really great to see, um, and it kind of it just kind of happened. Um, I, I wasn't aware of it being a big project, and then suddenly it was. Um, so I think a T three is high up there on the list, and um, I, I don't see. I can now with impunity. I don't know why I'm holding. My, hello, hello. Um, I can with impunity speculate what they will be bringing out. Now they have hinted four new tools two scales and i think that 009 has um certainly developed really really well um whether it's items of rolling stock or a locomotive in 009 um my guess might be something like um uh castle uh, conway or castle canavon um I, you know they haven't had a proper diesel um and i think that they might be potential ones um a lot of people have been speculating about the ngg 16 uh the garrets um and i'm not entirely sure um i have heard that they have been measured up but then again i have heard that backman measured everything up at the festinion possibly in part because um they didn't want people to guess what it was they were actually measuring up um so um uh, so Mark Wilson says hello from 1971. Aha, Mark Wilson has taken some time out of um, a waxing the DeLorean slips through time a lot quicker and better um, to come and say hello. So it's always great to see you, Mark Wilson. And Mark, why did you not do a photo for the Hornby photo competition? We were all rooting for you. So, you know, just plonk a Hornby model on Paddington or Stewart's Lane or in the Swindon erecting shops and you'd have cleaned up. We were rooting for you to do it, you know, just to like really blow the minds of the people at Hornby who had to do the judging. Going, what the hell? This is like the real thing. This is a photograph of the real thing. <laughs> um, 
James Petz predictably says, I approve of Mark Wilson's DeLorean. And uh, um, uh, uh, Ian White says, talking of units, I'm old enough to remember them having a van coupled to them years ago. Yes, of course, tail loads were a thing. Um, and one of the godsends for uh, keeping open some of the low traffic, um, uh, hard up branch lines, uh, uh, by having tail traffic, we didn't need to run like goods trains and stuff. Um, and then presumably um, the um, the powers that be went, oh no, that's actually making it viable. We must stop this. But I do wonder, how did they do the shunting of like a van or a, a milk tanker using the DMU? Did everybody have to get off whilst they were shunting or did they just sort of sit there whilst this thing um, um, puttered around in the goods yard? Um, Mark Wilson says, oh, not, not, not good enough for home. Oh, did you? So did you actually enter and you're not in the shortlist? Oh, referee. Topsy says fix, if that's the case. Yeah, um, he's twiddling his browning knob at that. Absolutely. Um, John Paul the Donovan says, hello, Flymer Chairman 1. Uh, Flights Hotel and two day tickets are booked for Warley. Um, so, yeah. Wally is nearly upon us. Unfortunately, um, this is we've just started to go full time doing this. We simply cannot justify um, the cost of going to Wally. Um, in all honesty, with you, so the chances of me being at Wally <coughs> is fairly low. And for, but you guys, you will have a great time. Um, right, um, Ben Davis says I was there last week to film the T three five six four green. At Swanage, it looks amazing. Easy, one of the best trains I've ever seen. Yeah, I think a T3 has got to be high up there on a list for a surprise announcement from Backman. Um, but um, uh, as for other things, I'm not entirely sure. Um, an 8F is definitely something a lot of people have been banding around. Um, the Hornby 8F is not terrible. It's certainly needs a little bit of uh, TLC um, but that would be quite a daring move I think that would be very much uh, a case of Batman parking their trains on Hornby's lawn um, but it could also be an item of rolling stock and uh, I am quite interested to see what they're going to be doing I have no um, inside track as it were on their Wednesday announcements now the theme for today is supposed to be Halloween dioramas yes and uh, what is interesting uh, is that there are a lot of can you just give it a prod it's, it's stopped again there are a lot of uh, let's give that a little bit more beans there, there's a fair amount of stuff available yeah that knock could be used. and prizer yeah. definitely two brands that do a lot of Halloween themed stuff and in fact, the um, just seeing in the middle of your screen, you'll see the Gaster House, uh, which was a not the Geister House. Yeah, yeah the uh, that's it. Um, it's not really in the middle of the screen. At the top. Yes. Um, and um, that was one of they do like a limited edition uh, card kit with stuff going on um, every year, <laughs> and that was the limited edition for one year. They're not cheap. I think it was about eighty pounds. It was a fair amount, yeah. Yeah, um, but that one featured a, a strange light effect, um, which it, it does kind of work when I plug it in and turn it on. But unfortunately, the uh, evil cackling sound um, chip for it kind of gone went missing um, at the end of filming Great Model Railway Challenge. Um, I think it went in the skip, and that is sacrilege, because basically a sound chip went in the skip. Unfortunately, it's easily done. When mm. you're on a film shoot... And you're told that you have to clear up in a certain amount of time. Yeah, yeah, These yeah. These things are going to happen. Mm. Uh, trainers cost me 38 quid return, Jen. Direct to NEC. Come on, <laughs> come play with us as Iron Horse Railways. Uh, ben Turlett says, I'm going to a meeting on Wednesday regarding Wally. I have offered my train driving services for the weekend. Ooh. Um, let's make tracks as Model U Ghostbusters. Oh, oh do yeah. they? Oh, oh, I need to see. I'm, I'm we gonna... need to see this, so uh, we will uh, be looking that up. Um, unfortunately, that means I can't read the uh, chat. No, I'm just loading up Model <laughs> U. We're going to have a look. Okay. So, um... oh look, they, they do zombies. I can see zombies. That's cool. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, I would have thought like Ghostbusters might be an issue with copyright or something. Um, I suppose you could get people dressed up. Um, I don't know how it works. Um, well, let's have a look at their sale. 20% off what they got. There they are. Is that the Ghostbusters? Yeah. In the miscellaneous set. Oh, um, oh, that's Brunel. And they've disappeared. They're, they're not there. But they are on there. Yeah, um, there appears to be uh, Ghostbusters available from Model U. You'll have to um, do a bit of hunting. Uh, but yeah. Oh, there are lots of things you can do. And Oxford Diecast um, uh, do do a hearse. It's a great hearse. I think it's a oh, Daimler hearse. Found them. Oh, yeah. Ghostbusters. Right, okay. I'm bringing that up on screen. The big one, yeah. Uh, so go for the big. Yep, that one. So here we have Ghostbusters Halloween special um, from £15. Who are you going to call? They look fantastic. They do, actually. Yeah. Oh, man. Look With at their that. unlicensed uh, nuclear particle accelerators on their backs. It is hilarious. Yeah, I yeah. love it. Um, and, and quite clearly, this represents the last of the petty cash. But um, Wow, they've got a, they've got they've a, got decent... a good likeness as well. That is really nice. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah. And I'll be honest... I could see a place for these dudes in the background somewhere on your layout all year round. But there you are, Model U have the Ghostbusters. I'm going to order some. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, I'm going to order them now on my phone. Right, do you want to jump back? Yes, I do actually. Right, so um, if you want to just um, make sure that they... There we go. So those are available at Model U. I'm going to put them in the... Yeah. <clears throat> they are in the list. And that's on Model U's website, Ben Davis. Um, so... Um, I'm sure somebody all uh, who's got the the privilege can uh, share that. But yeah, they are. really impressed. About fifty. It says from fifteen pounds. Really impressed. I'm assuming that's like um, awesome brick that. says Toastbusters. <laughs> Surely that's um, uh, Topsy. Um, Topsy does say that um, <laughs> that he is uh, very very um, appreciative of Toastbusters because they keep him in toasting. 57305 Northern Princesses. I'd love to have a figure of Michael Myers on my leg. Um, interesting. I mean, I'm, they may do other ones. Have a good look through, but certainly there's Ghostbusters going on. Yeah, there. Your biggest issue there is it's not really Michael Myers, is it? It's, it's a William Captain, Shatner mask. It's Captain Kirk in a pair of overalls. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's basically a William Shatner mask. Um, did they get permission for that? I presume they did when they did the film. And did the the, the Shatner um, did he? Um, I don't know. No, but it was. Happening. I know it's painted white so that it looks different. Yeah. And James Petz, it, oh, I like, I, I, I approve. It says I ain't afraid of no toast. <laughs> ah, um, Dean Wollaston says, Jenny, how do you get your trains to run backwards? I get a lot of mine derailing when I try this. Which one's running backwards? Of course, it's Model U, so the price would depend on scale. <coughs> yes, of course. Um, to be honest, just um, careful careful attention to the track work. Um, <laughs> Peachy TT120 says, Toasting <laughs> makes you feel good. <laughs> uh, Larry Rogers says, The Lionel Hogswood Express has a Dementors coach that has some really cool special effects. Great for Halloween. Um, yeah, there are some great products. Um, Aaronville says, Model U, Jenny Kurt, OO, can join the Ghostbusters. Yes, you could. Um, we could We could make me into a... Into are you a, cleaning up the town with your shovel? I am cleaning up the town. We'll turn it into a brush. <laughs> uh, we'll turn that into a brush. Uh, Valley's 56XX says, Finally managed to get a decent Batman two-tone green class 24. Oh, and uh, for those who are asking where you could get uh, pumpkins... Uh, Model U. They've got some pumpkins. They're carved. All right. They actually look quite cute. <laughs> oh, I ain't afraid of no ghost. But yeah, the two-tone green uh, Class 24s and Class 25s really do look nice. What? They are. <laughs> they actually are quite nice. <clears throat> well, uh, I suppose I could put them on the balcony of the Geister house. Yeah. So, um... So, yeah, oh, we're getting all really excited. Ah, Christine Kirk is in. She says, Hello. hi, Auntie Jenny. Next time I will bring my Hog Hogwarts Express, which will hopefully work on your track. Yes, that's the one I gave you as a present. If anybody's wondering what happens to uh, when 
when um, uh, when we do reviews here, occasionally I I, I just give these things away. So uh, yeah. um, uh, that went to uh, Henry, and uh, I hope he's been looking after it. Uh, good fun Hi, set Andy. that. Hi Charles as well. Um, ben Tullet says there's a Jenny Mini Me witch out there. Yes, there is. Somebody did do Mini Me as a as a witch on a broomstick. I thought that was really impressive. Um, <laughs> Shaky Hand Shed Molarelli says William Shatner was going to marry Stevie Nicks until she discovered her, her new name. What, Stevie Shatner? Um. Shatner Nicks. Oh! Oh ho ho! Oh ho! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, is there some kind of trombone activity that needs um, to happen? <laughs> Uh, Warbler Production <laughs> says, I'll keep saying until it's noticed, but the second TARDIS is on the Satlink train behind the Care Stewart Victory Loco. Um, I think, yeah, so um, I did spot a few people saying that they spotted it. <coughs> <coughs> but that Loco does run like a champ. Um, I've turned it round and it's now running even more like a champ. Um, but uh, that is an impressive piece of kit. Now, um, just do excuse me, sorry, the underwiring has popped out, and it's very painful when it does that. So, um, just... We'll look at the ceiling while Jenny does her but, thing. Ooh, look at that. It's all the pictures and stuff. <laughs> but it's just, it's, it's old, it's an old bra. Right, anyway, meanwhile, back at the ranch. Ian White says, can anyone help me? I'm looking for a Batman and Robin figure in OO Gage for an idea I have. Um... <clears throat> have have seen them. I'm not sure whether now um, Noch and Prizer are a good place to have a search, but be warned, they are a little bit of the kings of back order. Um, so what you might find is that um, you you wait a long time until they get round to making some more. However, it being Halloween, you might find that um, they are available. So just. Find somewhere like, uh, I think, Gage Master, Waltons of Altrincham as well. Both of those do do extensive stocks of such things. Uh, Golden Valley Hobbies as well uh, might be worth taking a look at to see what they've got. Uh, Don gets model railway says, oh no, wiring faults. Oh, not on the layout. <laughs> um, I'm getting all the jokes now. Um, 1968 Concord says, Mr. Spock to Captain Kirk. I'm all ears. <laughs> uh, Ruben Ashwell says, lovely paintings. Um, ooh, nice ceiling, says Peachy TG120. Yes, there, there's actually, there's a lot of pictures up there, um, which Les um, uh, was very kind enough. He gave me loads. I think I bought, I bought four, and then he said, well, you might as well have the rest, because I'm closing the shop down, and they'll just go and get, like, pennies in the pound from auction. So he gave me all the rest of the paintings, and, and they're actually prints, but they're really nice prints. Mm. Um, and um, I use mirror fasteners, so that's how I get them on the angling part of the ceiling. And um, it really does actually look nice in here. Um, I tried to think how barren it used to look before I put all those up. Um, um, Simon Trains Model Railway Showcase as an OO gauge Joker would be good. Why so serious? Um, Warbler Production says you need to do a video that shows the different picture signs you have around the loft. It would be fascinating. Uh, maybe next time I do a, 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 a <coughs> an update on Weir Yard. <coughs> uh, DCC Locomotive James says, do you know that Backman will announce the Class 13? Mm, I, I don't... <sighs> I'm not convinced they would. Um, that would require a lot of retooling. Um, now, I think the people most likely to make an announcement on a Class 13 would actually be Hellion. And the reason for this is that they're doing the Class 11 and Class 12 for Model Rail. Now, I would be very surprised if they're not uh, making that tooling suite so it can also do the Class 08. And if they're going to do a class 08, they might as well do the class 10 as well, and the class 09. And then, well, um, you might as well do the class 13 as well. What have you done? Let's have a look. Uh, Madden Stream Railways, thank you so much for coming along. And of course we'll miss you. 
Oh, what? He says, what? Uh, I guess you won't miss me if I close for the night because my battery's running out on the dear old iPhone. I know that Of feeling. course we'll miss you. Our aim is getting better. Yes, we are. Yes, we will miss you, but the, you know, aim's getting good with practice. <laughs> so there we are. So you're getting pumpkins and you're getting the Ghostbusters. Yeah. Ooh. And, um, excellent. Um, so we'll see what happens. So yeah. I'll them up and we'll enjoy them. Who are you going to call? Um... Actually, uh, they do do. They've got a deal with Dan Everson of uh, Tunnel Lane Model Railways. You can actually uh, make a request, and um, they go to him. He paints but I them. I want to paint. Them. Okay, you paint. I want to paint them in the uniforms that they had in the cartoon. Uh, Warbler Production says, "Is the Rock Ferry album up there? That's definitely <laughs> railway related. Is Duffy used to volunteer on the Festiniog Railway?" Um, it's not actually at the moment. It's Seventh Son of a Seventh Son by um, Iron Maiden. In fact, it's my autographed copy. It's signed by uh, Adrian Smith and Bruce Dickinson. Um, I don't know whether you'll get far enough around to um, to show it. So that you just see it there um, in the middling distance. That is, um, huh? Oh, right. Interesting. Um, so you'll just see over there. That is, um, I've got a, it's weird actually working out where I'm, I'm supposed to point. <laughs> so um, um, I met Bruce Dickinson and Adrian Smith back in the days when I used to do radio. And um, it was in that period in between leaving Iron Maiden and then coming back to Iron Maiden. And they were promoting um, Accident of Birth was the single. Um, and I got to meet them. And of course, Adrian Smith was in, in Bruce Dickinson's band. Um, so I rather shakily got them to sign my copy of Seventh Son. Um, so yes. Um... Ben Tullard says he mentioned his idea for sound-fitted accessories to one of the Hornby guys yesterday. Said sounds like a good idea, play value for kids and adults. It, it really does. That oh. sounds great. Um, yeah, Knockers Lane says, already been and done the Halloween figure, Jenny Mini figure turned into a flying witch on a <laughs> yes. I really like that one. That and the, um, and the, um, the Roman charioteer one, that one I really fun. did like that. Um, Johan Swanepoel Swanee says, Maiden, yes, Jenny. Absolutely. And, um, my, my lasting memory of Adrian Smith was he was very silent. It was the silent time. And Bruce Dickinson couldn't stop talking. Um, Bruce Dickinson likes to chat. He's a bit of a chatty one. Um, oh, what about that time you were uh, trying to get something signed by them? And some guy called Matthew was uh, was kept uh, trying to talk to the guy while he was trying to chat up a woman. Huh? So it wasn't that one of the Iron Maiden guys. So no, it, no, I thought that was um, that was that was the the um, 2000 AD guy. I thought. Oh yeah, one of the guys from 2008. So, <laughs> so he says to him, oh, "All right, look, what's your name?" <laughs> and he says, "Matthew." So he thought, "F off, Matthew," <laughs> and then signed it and handed him a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> um, big hello, Barnabas Junction. Oh, a degree of lateness implied, Barnabas Junction. A Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they early. <coughs> they arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, <coughs> Gandalf. Absolutely. Topsy's getting quite excited now. Yes, there we are. Mm. Um, Ivo Van Zon says, have to leave. Last chance to make noise before I have to wait a day. <gasps> oh. uh, DJK666 says, I've always been a Maiden fan, unsurprisingly for people who've met me. You yes. Know, yes. When I saw you. you, I thought, you thought that's a maiden, guy. That's a Maiden <laughs> yeah, fan. That's a guy like likes Iron Maiden. I actually, my my first thought was actually Metallica, but you know, we're in the ballpark. Metallica, yeah, mm. I approve. I have the same strings on my guitar uh, as, oh. um... Janie B. Um, oh, you're so, going to talk off me, go on then. No, no, okay, you, go on then. Monument. I have the same strings on my guitar as Kirk Hammett. Did you? Did he not ask for them back? No. <laughs> um, Iron Horse Railways, up the irons. <laughs> Um, 1968 Concord says, Yippee, won my bid on eBay. Other auction sites are available. Nice. Yeah, they're ava available, but they're not as good. Um, <laughs> give, give, it, give that a prod over there. I'll prod it. Mm. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Ah, you will, you will, you will. Um, Janie B says, Hot Wheels did the Batman Tumblr in 2005 
which did come with a figure, but it's actually 1 to 74 scale. Um, actually, yeah. that's in the ballpark. That's, a, that's not yeah, bad. Yeah. You're going to have Batman <coughs> on your layout. Yeah, it's almost. I can almost feel like you're going to come back with Batman. No, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. Would you like one? No, no, I'm good. I, I just need something to yeah. I need caffeine, man. I need caffeine. Sarah Davis says, not a fan of Iron Maiden myself. First time I heard them, I ran for the hills. Oh. Oh. <laughs> run for the hills. <laughs> run for the hills. <laughs> Yeah, I have to admit, the first time I heard I Am Maiden was Bring Your Daughter to the Slaughter. <laughs> and I didn't like it. See, for me, <laughs> my friend at the time, um, uh, James Pickering was massive Maiden fan. And I was probably too young to appreciate, appreciate it, but he... He forced listened. Um, he, he made me force listen to um, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son every time I went round his house. <laughs> but um, I guess I was probably only about eight years old or oh, nine years too, old, and I didn't appreciate it. it. I, I just remember the front art cover artwork scared me somewhat. <laughs> Um, Paul Donovan says, Iron Maiden were very good for picture disc LPs. I have a few in my collection. Yes, I've got the Rockin' Rio picture disc and Brave New World. I think we also have one from a later one as well. Um, I think we've got some of the singles. May have some of the singles yeah. on 12 inch picture disc as well. Um, Raymond Legg says, I prefer Metallica and Judas Priest. It's Judas Priest, the breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law. Um, anyway, so, <coughs> we, we've, meanwhile, back at the ranch, Liam and New Mills Mother Railway says, good evening all. It's been a while. It certainly has. We have missed you. Hope you're doing well. Great to have you back. Unfortunately, Gandalf's just gone and got himself stuck in the biscuit barrel. If you're wondering, this is our newest lovable sidekick. This is Topsy Toaster, the host with the toast. Um, Knockers Lane says there is a model of the Bates Motel out there somewhere. Did have one years ago. Um, yeah, I mean, there are lots of things that you can add to your model railway for a Halloween theme. And um, I also like it's a great opportunity to also model an autumnal layout. And it's one of my favourite seasons to model in terms of um, like the colours on the trees and stuff. Lots of yellows and reds, um, uh, that kind of, you know, really quite stark colours. A lot of oranges as well. Um, so, um, uh, definitely, a Halloween-themed layout is great. Now, if you're wondering about the picture that we used in the thumbnail, that's actually the one that, uh, the Great Model Railway Challenge, uh, that the team that I was a part of, <coughs> that's the one that we did for the semi-finals. Uh, we did a Halloween-themed layout. Um, and there was a lot of stuff going on on there. In fact, we had a windmill as well. Um, I'm not familiar with, um, I think it's Frankenstein, but apparently there's a windmill involved. Uh, we had the Geister House was originally part of it. That's how um, how that came about. Uh, and then we had the, tr the the Steve Flint tree as well, which was uh, pretty good fun. Now, I am told that the Steve Flint tree does survive. Um... Uh, I think Corby Model Rail Club uh, it ended up at. So nice that it, it did survive because that was a great piece of uh, engineering by uh, by Les. Um, Nigel Coulter's Flight of Icarus was a good track. There's a lot of great Iron Maiden tracks, but I do like having um, an album cover in there. Um, and actually that frame is from the Halloween layout um, as a, a nod to uh, the guy who does all of the music um, for the, the series, we actually had one of his EP covers in there. I had his EP on 12 inch vinyl, uh, well, the band he was in. Um, and so there was, it was what annoyed us a little bit. Um, Kathy Miller didn't get um, what we were doing, even though we did explain it, um, and couldn't get her head around <coughs> the child's bedroom theme. In that child's bedroom, were lots and lots of items that were of specific uh, individual significance, um, even down to the O-Gage locomotive that we were holding in the group um, hero shot uh, when they came round and filmed um, uh, us all before the main competition. And they didn't end up using that because we didn't know at the time. Um, but we had the uh, LP sleeve in there from uh, Bruno Greif's um, a band, Terry Poison, 
uh, because he did uh, all of the music. In fact, you'll have heard the music he did for us. Uh, we use it as the theme tune to the Monday Club. Yeah. Mm. David Shaw says 100 likes, 235 watching. Don't forget to tickle that like button if you haven't already done so. And, and so, the beverage of choice moved on to Beck's Blue. So I was thinking about uh, diorama stuff for Halloween. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds that you can do with lighting effects. Yes. And the other thing I was thinking of is these little sound things that we've got here. Mm. We've got all kinds of options. Mm. We use these little sound things. You can have evil cackling and stuff. <laughs> I don't think anything's playing on that one. But, um, <coughs> yeah, you could put screeching, cackling, lightning, thunder, and all of that. Mm. Oh, this is Gandalf. Mm. That's, that's for when Gandalf mm. isn't, isn't able to get up yeah. here. He presses them up. Um, we, we had a latecomer. Um, um, I think it may have gone off the top, but... Um, Mike at Putham Junction says that he's late. Oh, well, I'll... Late, Gandalf. I hear a few people think they're late, but a Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wackens, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Thanks, Gandalf. David Scott says Iron Maiden had their own 747, which Bruce Dickinson piloted. Um, it actually belonged to um, Icelandic Air. Um, but it was liveried up with Ed on the um, on the tail and Iron Maiden down the side. And it was nicknamed Ed Force One, although that aeroplane was taken out of service about a year after that tour. So it's actually been scrapped, which is a bit of a shame. It was quite an old plane, so a lot of hours on its, on its uh, frame. Larry Rogers says the Lionel Legacy equipped NW2 swim switcher that was pre-ordered back in March will be in my hot little hands next week. It will be in the livery of Eric's Seigler's 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 Model Railroad. Ooh. Uh, Peter Jackson Cheadle he says that Bruno Gr um, Greif mini version of War of the Worlds is brilliant. I wish he'd do a longer version. Um, I, I should probably ask him. Um, it's about it's about a minute and ten seconds long. It, it's it was only ever written for Great Model Railway Challenge for the um, War of the Worlds layout. Um, but I should ask him, actually. I think that that would make a great piece of music. Unfortunately, um, he's probably a bit... Uh, he is a bit busy, busy at the um, on account of living in Haifa in, um, in Israel. So, as you can imagine, things got a bit wild over there. Yeah. Um, but, hey. Um, we Sarah, wish him all the best. Absolutely. Um, Sarah Davis says Chris from Family Guy made a shoebox <laughs> shoebox diarrhea. Have you been hit by autocorrect? <laughs> that has a bit of an autocorrect. No, it's vibe. a Family Guy joke. Oh right. Um, David Scott says thanks for that, Jenny. I wasn't sure what had happened to it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I just caught a. Um, it was I spotted a video on YouTube. Unfortunately, Ed Force One um, has been scrapped out in the Mojave Desert. Um, Nick at Bletchton High Level says, sorry guys, fell asleep in the bath. <gasps> well, that's a bit dangerous. You've got to be careful doing that. But there's a Don't degree of lateness implied here. <coughs> a Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Uh, Flymo Chairman 1 says, yes, and Bruce has had to retire his pilot's license, so I heard getting on apparently. <coughs> That's Unfortunately, that is true mm. for a lot of people. You can, you have to. There's an age limit on being a pilot. You have to be able to fulfil certain health requirements and age requirements. Hmm. Um. Ruben Ashwell says, "What's Gandalf doing today?" Um. I suspect biscuits are involved. Mm -hmm. It's actually making me crave biscuits as well. I'm beginning to wish. I haven't got any. I, I did give away um, uh, a lot of cookies to um, our, our other nephew this um, uh, lunchtime. Our nephew Zach um, works just round the corner, uh, and um, he came round for lunch. It was great to see him, and I, I plied him with lots of uh, big, big cookies, which kind of suggests he might come back. <laughs> yeah, now I want the cookies. And I can go and get some. No, if you no, want. no. We we need to cut back. Uh, DJK666 says, my first introduction to rock music was Hawkwind's 
who's going to win the war? But when I saw the concert pictures of the mummy above the stage, I was introduced to Iron Maiden. Um, I, I say, I, I first got into Megadeth. You don't like Megadeth. I don't. I can't stand them. They're not as good as Metallica. Yeah, see, I prefer Megadeth to Metallica. But uh, anyway... Uh, You've Me always been weird. Megadeth were kind of my indoctrination into the, the harder rock. Um, Jen, now that you're a, a full-time YouTuber, have you considered having a second uh, live stream where you just talk about music? Because you could talk about it as much as you talk about trains. The, the problem is, because of copyright issues, we're not really allowed to play any of the music. That and is true. That makes it very difficult to... Um, to do such things. Ben Davis says, if Backman does a Class 8F, I would like it to, um, li like to do it in LMS Red, yes, or BR Red, which is the Great Central Run. Yeah, absolutely right. London Brighton and South Coast Railway, I3, E2, C2, all in brown. We've had a lot of um, SECR and London Brighton and South Coast Railway liveried locomotives. I would love to see, now, in terms of, like, this is getting back to, we've got Backman announcements coming up on <coughs> on Wednesday but while we're so, on about that I think oh, um, the L, I think is that the LNY class 27 is one which is definitely up there um, runs at the East Lanks an awful lot and um, that's a potential one the J21 is another locomotive which I think um, should be high on manufacturers' agenda, um, with uh, the preserved example undergoing rebuilding, ready to re-enter traffic at the um, at Kirby Stephen East. Um, the T3 obviously just uh, re-entered service at Swanage. I think that is. Um, I would put that at, um, at almost a dead cert for one of the new announcements. Um, but in terms of rolling stock, um, I'd like to see some London Brighton South Coast Railway coaches, bogey coaches. And I think that that might actually be in uh, Batman's wheelhouse. You know, don't <laughs> overlook the fact that coaching stock could be one of the all new bits of tooling that's coming forward. And when they say um, four new items in two new scales, well, two of those could be bogey coaches, two different ones. Um, you know what I'd like to see? What? And this is something that I actually <coughs> talked about with uh, some 3D print, uh, 3D item printers at Getz, not this year, but last time. Mm -hmm. 3D printed, or even mainline stuff if uh, people want to try it, glow-in-the-dark items. I'm thinking specifically a ghost train. Mm. So you have a an item, and it's it, it looks weird. Can you print then, it in glow in the dark stuff? That was what I was talking to the 3D printer guys about. This is they haven't seen anyone who can make 3D pr 3D printed uh, glow in the dark because the filaments aren't there. But if someone could produce <coughs> the filament, you could do it. Yeah, yeah. Although it might be a bit weird the way that uh, it goes in layers. So they suggested 3D printing in completely transparent. Uh huh and then spraying it off with a th uh, glow in the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think you 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 can get glow in the dark filaments of Sarah. Excellent. That that would be so cool. Mm. Imagine that yeah. a ghost train, literally a ghost train and glows in the dark. Hamming's Rest Model Railway says, "Have you heard the Hart Twins version of the Fear of the Dark?" That's your wheel. I have. You you do listen to They're them. They're rather good. Raymond Legg says, "Somebody needs a lozenge." Yes. Lozenge, that's a great word. Write that down, we should use it more often in everyday Ham Shepparton says there's an HO company making glow-in-the-dark loads. That's cool. Cool. And yes, See, Vic the, Freak, this... um, I did note Dave Mustaine was originally in Metallica. He was thrown out because he... He, um... he drove the uh, tour bus drunk yeah. soon after... Um, <coughs> oh, what was his name? Clint? Uh, after, after he died. Um... And the thing was that, ironically, Dave Mustaine was the first one to get himself sorted going yeah, through rehab. Yeah, he, he says that uh, getting kicked out for for doing stuff like that is exactly the kick up the arse he needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, Charlie Chimp says, Lego used to make glow-in-the-dark ghosts. Let's Make Track says, I attempted a glow-in-the-dark train for my most recent video for a ghost train, but glow-in-the-dark spray paint didn't come out so good. May have needed more layers. It is, it is a possibility, yeah. Mark Tower says, I had to go to, uh, I had to, go to put Emily to bed. Oh, well, look, do give her our best. Say that we said hello. Um... It says, what have I missed? Oh, oh, this is a, this is a suggestion of lateness, and that's made top very excited. A Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Thank you. Uh, so, gents, since uh, they've asked what they've missed, could we have a summary of the news? There isn't really much news. A Pico have an open day at Rails at Sheffield this coming Saturday, where you will be able to dip in and see all things Pico. Um, at the, the shop. Um, we also have incoming the Lionheart trains uh, 262 and Manning Wardle uh, in 016.5. Uh, there's also a range of buildings which are ready coloured um, laser cut uh, card. Uh, certainly look really interesting. Um, and then we've also got on Wednesday, Backman will be making their quarterly announcements. We've had a hint that I think it was um, four new items of tooling in two different gauges. And we're trying to guess what it might be. Now, the T3, we think, is up there. Um, I think a T3, uh, given it's just gone back into traffic for the first time since BR days, I believe. Um, so that is definitely up there. Um, and also... Uh, J21, I think, is an outside chance. Um, uh, X Lancashire and Yorkshire Class 27, Steam Loco. That's another one which I think um, would be a good choice. 8F, outside chance. And I'm also going to put a guess in for some London Brighton and South Coast Railway coaching stock. And that may actually cover a lot of the new tooling. So you could, for example, have two or even three different items of new tooling to represent a, a range of coaching stock and um, but we also think that there's probably going to be um uh, there's probably going to be something in 009 and we thought the um the flunky diesels as it um um castle canavon or castle conway one of those might be um a good option or also the ngg g ngg let me start again. The NGG-16 Garrett. But I think that would be a very expensive model. And I'm not 100% convinced that that is something which would be financially viable. Mark Towers suggests the Stania tank. And there's a funny story behind that. But I'm not sure whether we have to go into it. But yes, That's the Stania great. tank. Um, okay, let's put our money on the Stania tank. I think the Stania tank's a good choice. Uh, T3, uh, J21, uh, XLMY Class 27, and outside choice of uh, a set of London Brighton and South Coast Railway bogey coaches. I'm going to say they're going to shock everyone by finally releasing the Mega Bronco. No, I think that the Class 13 would probably come from Hellion. Uh, Oh, right. Warbler Production says, Conway isn't a funky, it's a planet. You're thinking of Vale of Fistinia, quite possibly. Uh, James Pett says, the balloon carriages were in perhaps a notable exception. Uh, he says, the thing with LBSCR carriages, the very few survived into the grouping era, let alone the BR era, without being converted into EMUs. Um, yeah, that's, that's an interesting point. Um, <clears throat> so we've had SECR. Uh, coaches with the bird cages. We've had the London and South Western Railway coaches. Um, the only other things would be what about North Eastern Railway coaches? Um, I don't know. Uh, or Great Northern Railway coaches, but um, that's probably more in Hornby's wheelhouse. Um, I would. I've just admit. I would like to see more of the very early stuff. Hmm. 
Nick kept Bletched in high levels as I picked up a Class 37 Andromeda at Gaiden, along with a Lego Biffo sound chip and speaker, apparently superior to Akira Scale sound efforts. Well, we'll see. Oh, them's fighting That's words. That's fighting I'm words. I'm sure New Junction will be in. Um, uh, let's have a look down. Uh, DCC Locomotive James says, uh, we're, we're in Hornby Normandy tank as a whole, uh, as on Hornby and Modern Wood. The Normandy tank, isn't that, that's a Daypole model. Um, CP Model Railway says, I made my YouTube name easier to say and type. That's always a good move, actually. Where's the other express parcels? There. Oh, there it is. I couldn't see it for a second. <laughs> mm. Sarah Davis has shared the link to the shoebox thing from Family Guy on the Facebook page. Careful now. We'll be having a look at that later. Uh, Jen, Jen doesn't like Family Guy, but she giggles every now and then. No, there's the one bit where he's in an isolation booth and he farts and then he's like... Ugh! That 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 tickled me. Um, Rick Morley says the Hellion Class 11s are ready for pre-order at Model Rail magazine. That should include the Class 12s. And that's why I think that Hellion... Um, if anybody's going to introduce a new Class 08 to the market with full bells and whistles, it's Hellion. Because if they're tooling up to do the Class 11 and the Class 12, they're going to be doing a lot of that with slides in the tooling. So it stands to reason, why wouldn't you also tool up for the much more numerous Class 08s, Class 09s, why not do the Class 10s as well? And that also opens the door to a Class 13. So I would not be surprised if Hellion in the near future announce a range of Gronks in double O. I honestly think that that is an almost dead cert and I would be very surprised if they hadn't designed that tooling to be able to do that. Uh, ben Tullet says, Ga back when we were at Gaiden at the weekend, they didn't hint anything. Stania Tank. <laughs> But yeah, so there's a story from Ali Pali, uh, which they basically gave something away. Um, <laughs> uh, Hannings Rest Model Railway says, I think the Backman are going to announce a price drop. That's cool. Um, I, I don't think we're quite there at that point in the market. Stuff is still selling well. Um, what's interesting is the Acura Scale Manners um, have pretty much sold out across the board. The 37s are selling out across the board. The 55s are all selling out to pre-order the next batch. So I think it's quite likely that we've not yet reached um, the, a price point where people back out. But on the other hand, we have seen a lot of some quite deep discounting. So for example, Kerno Model Center have been doing a range of models in their sale. I think it runs to the end of this week for either $49.99 or $99.99. And some of those include, um, there's a lot of Hornby Railroad Plus models. There's some Gronks as well. Um, Backman Class 45, the area exclusive ones for $99.99. Um, so yeah, um, there is deep discounting, but there is also um, uh, a lot of stuff selling out. Uh, Paul Bryan says, coming from Kent, loving the Class 71. Um, I do quite like a 71 as well. Um, I would love to see a class 74. Now, interesting enough, somebody has the tooling for what used to be the DJM class 71. And I would love to see somebody produce the class 74. Um, uh, JD1533 Workshop says, Hello all from Queens, New York City. There's a degree of lateness implied. And Simon Trains Mother Railway Showcase very quickly said, What's the, um, what's the update with the latest Monday Club Wagon, please? Well, a Monday Clubber is never <coughs> late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they hurly. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Thanks, Gandalf. Right. Um, two thirds of all of the new Monday Club Wagons are sold out to pre-order. They're going really fast. We I knew that livery would look great on people's layouts. And they had we damage. announced at Gets. It's been, um... Two weeks, just yep. over two weeks, and we've sold two thirds of the entire production run. So, uh, the Monday Club wagon, when it's gone, it's gone. Um, I've uh, I have discussed this matter with um, with Rapido, 
And I've come to the conclusion that no, when it sells out, it will sell out for good. And um, all the cries, too late, too late, will be the cry when the Monday Club Wagons have passed you by. You need to get your order in, basically. Uh, we do have a link in the description box. There's only a one third of the production run left. Uh, we've we've sold out two thirds in just over two weeks. And when you think they're not due until I think Q2 next year, I expect they'll be sold out before Christmas. So don't dither, don't delay. Get your order in from those. And yes, James Pets, that is it, it's actually blown us away. That's a stronger demand than we were expecting. Yeah. John Nutman, uh, Mansbridge Park says, Hi, you guys. Uh, great to see you. Hope you're well. There is, an, uh, there is a degree of lateness, and uh, I think Topsy Toaster is getting quite excited Hello, about... Hello, Topsy. Hello. Oh, look. A Monday clubber is never late Toto wagons, nor are they early. <laughs> they arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Thanks Gandalf. Gandalf. Right, uh, Jen, we have asked... We have, have been asked, rather, rather than have asked, uh, if we're having any... Uh, Videos tonight. Would you like some videos? Always. So, Paula Donovan says, Model Rail November issue is out. Masterclass looking at Class 60's brilliant article. Great issue. I like their reviews. And uh, I just caught a look there. Um, Warbler Production says, I have, as with the first two, ordered two of the new wagon. Uh, one for the box to be signed and one to run. You need to get a brake <laughs> van commission soon. Well, we'll see. We are actively looking at an O-Gage commission. Um, I know people keep asking me about N-Gage, but we um, actually, when we were giving away the exclusive Monday Club uh, signs uh, in conjunction with West Hill Wagon Works, it gets. Um, one of the reasons we were doing the gauges we did was actually to gauge demand. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think there's enough demand for an N-Gage commission I wish yet. there was, because I'd have one. We might have to do it as a Kickstarter, but I'm afraid people don't be disappointed if not enough people pile in. Um, yeah. Ben Davis says, Jennifer, think of the London and North Western Railway van from Rapido and Rapido. Wisbeach and Upwell tramcar want to come this December. Yes, the Wisbeach and Upwell coach is imminent from Rapido. And also we had an announcement of the London and North Western Railway van. So, Rapido are definitely catering for pre-grouping modellers. Um, we've had the um, uh, Kern OR as well. So, we've had London and South Western Railway. We had Great Western Railway stuff. Don't forget, Oxford Rail did the Great Eastern Railway van. I've actually got one here because I was oh, oops, doing some filming. And uh, let's put that there. So, um, a definite must... For all pre-grouping modellers, is this from uh, uh Give me a second, Oxford let me Rail. just put this up here. There you go. So, um, don't forget this. And that's actually a perfect accompaniment with the Wispeach and Upwell Tramway Coach from Rapido. Um, so, really exciting developments coming thick and fast from Rapido. Who are you calling um, thick? And again, they're selling out so quickly. So, we will be doing a review of the Wisbeach and Upwell Tramway Coach. I believe it is imminent. Um, and uh, really looking forward to that. <laughs> so, Jen, the first stop tonight isn't a video, <coughs> but I think you'll like it. Um, Christoph, by the way, says pre ordered. <laughs> Excellent. Hey. Uh, Wardle Road says, Good evening all. My train was cancelled tonight, so just got to sit by the phone. Well, that's not too bad. You're getting paid to sit by the phone. I, I could get behind a job like that. Uh, but, um, oh, I thought that's why he was late, because his train was cancelled. Ah, no, no, no. He was the driver. Ah. Yeah, freight train. A um, Monday clubber is never late, total wagons. Even when their train is cancelled, they <laughs> arrive precisely when they mean to. Uh, thanks, Gandalf, and of course, Topsy Toaster is uh, very, very. Uh, Hello there, Topsy. How uh, are you doing? Ha ha ha. Right. Um, so tonight's first uh, video isn't a video; it's some pictures uh, from Dion Wollaston, who says, "Don't tell me they're too many. <laughs> it's a big layout." <laughs> <coughs> no worries. We, we may not get through all of these, so if you so, uh, press the button, please. <laughs> Peter Joyce apologises to Gandalf uh, for lateness, but uh, right, so there we go. Um, so there's a class 68 there at the front. Um, some 
is, is that I think that we just seen the edge of a, a very big viaduct on the mm. right. I love the backdrop as well. Yeah, that is really nice. Very industrial. Ah, yes, it is. Um, it's an aqueduct. Oh wow! I always love a good aqueduct. That is that is nice. That is nice. Absolutely. <laughs> And um, again, from the other side, uh, yeah, aqueducts are a great way of adding some interest. Well, like canals in general, absolutely. Bluegrass rail fans, it's afternoon, evening, everyone. Degree of late. I spy a helix. Oh, I do. I always love a helix. That is quite a helix. Mm. Wow. So we've got a lower level and an upper Sorry, level. Sorry, I'll go back. Yeah. Yeah, nice. That is nice. It's a great way of really expanding your uh, options. Uh, this is a huge map. I'm, there are 80 pictures, by the way. I'm going to go through them pretty quick. Uh, oh, hang on. Jane... That's an overhead rail. Yeah. Janie B says, what about an 009 Pico Topsy Toast Delivery Quarryman's Coach? Um, 009 is definitely a possibility for a commission. However, it does come with a caveat. Um, that we can't go too off piste, otherwise, um, something we found with the PAL brick with the William Loudon Sons on did struggle a bit more, shall we say, mm. than the other commissions. So we do have to be quite careful with what we commission. Yeah, because what well, I know the trolls suggested that uh, <laughs> the companies were just giving us a, a, a livery, but no, we have to pay for it. We pay for it out of our own pocket. Mm. So we've got to be very careful what we pay for. That because is... we'll end up holding the bag. And yeah, if we, if that is quite... Uh, uh, that is substantial. Is that the Hellion or the Backman uh, container crane? Certainly very, very impressive. Yeah. Shaky hand shed model railways. He's got a modern loco and you can, can have Felix on the helix. <laughs> Bluegrass rail fans says uh, NS Southern Diesel's in there. Nice. Um, Mark Wilson says, thing. what did the Romans ever do for us? Um, the aqueduct, and I'm sure if you, get, you fire up the DeLorean, you go back and get a photo of um, of aqueducts in their prime. Yeah, apart from aqueducts, medicine, roads. <laughs> no worries. And yes, don't forget this. Um, there's several mini YouTubers available. So uh, Ollie at Wardle Road is available in miniature form. Mini me. Uh, you can also get that. and also a mini new junction uh so do make sure that you grab it you gotta collect them all like pokemon oh um, that's nice what wow oh i like that the multi-story car yeah. park a great way of displaying an awful lot of model cars it's it's i think it was a batman scene craft thing um and it's it's just a, a great way it doesn't take up a huge amount of space mm. but it's a perfect place for displaying a lot of your Oxford diecast stuff. And nice for reenacting scenes depot. from Get Carter. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, but that weird, um, like the Goblin King in his, his fishbowl lair at the top. Apparently that is, that, that um, a building at the top of that car park was never ever used for anything. <laughs> in fact, um, the closest it ever got was appearing in Get Carter. <laughs> Um, it was derelict from the day they built that place to the day they demolished it. You've got to wonder why they do these things. <clears throat> they thought it was a good idea, and then I think there was some kind of health and safety issue. Oh. Nigel Cole open. says, looks like a tall story to me. <laughs> <laughs> Warbler Production says, I still intend to get myself scanned in guards uniform for my SBR guards van, since that's my usual location when there. Uh, of course, Model you will be at uh, uh, the um, Warley show at the NEC, so it's a great opportunity to get scanned. But what I would say is get there early and um, uh, get straight to Model you because there might be a bit of a queue. Uh, Simon Although Train's Model have... Railway Showcase says, just pre-ordered the new wagon. Thank you so Thank much. You. Uh, what will you admit have told when it... us there is a new thing they're doing, and it'll take about ten seconds to scan someone. Yeah, it's a quicker scan. Um, Simon Train's mother Row showcase has just pre-ordered the new wagon. Thanks very much. Will admit when it was announced, I did like the look of the new Monday Club wagon. Yeah, I think that we've 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 scored gold on that. Is that admit. a TV crew? 
That is rather, yeah. Oh, they're filming like Casualty or something. There's an Dion, you've got all kinds here. This is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bluegrass Rail fan says the Norfolk Southern <laughs> Heritage Units uh, shot all 20. Plus, the first responders and go rail unit just need the veterans SD60E. <coughs> There's so much going on on this layout. I like the trees. Some lovely different colours going on there as yeah. well. Look at the state he's got the road in for his workmen. That's about normal for around here, isn't it? <laughs> it's so well done. Mm. This is amazing. There's a wedding. <laughs> I think it's either knock or prize that do a full wedding with yeah, bride and groom and guests. <laughs> and it, it, there's some really great little cameos. This is lovely. I like the pink tree as well. Oh, gazebo. Yeah. Oh, I love a gazebo. Oh, this is just so good. Mm. I just want to make sure when this comes around that it's not actually scratching the bottom. Because we've still got to do... You love to scratch your bottom. Well, no, we've, we've still got <laughs> to... Um... Mm. Oh. Have you scratched it? Mm. Have you been running it where you shouldn't? It, These it, are really good. It is um, a little bit uh, pushed to the limit to get around that corner. I need to fix that. It's like a These little so well ridge done. of ballast. So, uh, <clears throat> all kinds some lovely of scenes. Gus yeah. Hadley, the lunatic from Ammo. Hello to you. Hello. Degree of lateness in I haven't heard that name for a while. Oh my goodness, look at the way it's... Uh... Oh, the way it goes into the back seat. Yeah. Really wonderful. It's just blending in. That is so Late. good. Late. Lateness. Gandalf? Hmm? What? Oh, sorry, I was eating biscuits. A Monday clubber is never late, total baggins. Who are they early? They arrive precisely when they mean to. I'm Thanks, go Gandalf. Back to my and James Pett, yes, somebody do, um it's either knock or prize or do do a funeral. <laughs> um because I've got You've got it. I've got some of the people here, they're not at a funeral. I've turned them into preachers. No, because the funeral's over by the thing, isn't it? The, um well, no, the hearse is. Yeah. But yes, there is a funeral set. That I, looks I, amazing either as well. Either knock or prize. Yeah, have a look at that. They may even do it in Engage. Um, that is a lovely busy shed. Yeah. Um, sheds are always a great <laughs> way of getting a lot of interesting stuff going on. I see you've also managed to get a turdis in as well. Always good. <laughs> if if Doctor Who were done today, he really would go around in a porta potty. Probably would. Yeah. Mm. This is a nice collection of. Uh, Oh yeah, Ben Tullet says one issue nice with the roadworks. We may have to pick a fault here. There's, there, there are people working on them. Usually, you never see anybody in real life. I have to say one thing, Jen. My gamer sensors are tingling. Oh, <laughs> did oh, okay. what unique skunk <laughs> Yeah, over the top. Hey, <laughs> Raymond Legg says maybe I should get myself scanned in a gimp mask. Um, <laughs> I, I think that might be a bit creepy. At, I think uh, that's Wally. the point. Whoa! Oh, that's, that's a busy now that's area. what I call a roundhouse, <laughs> and that's like every single available road has a road on it. That is, that's a Hornby turntable taken to the max. Yes, Topsy to Toaster. The max. Topsy Toaster does approve of These are maxing amazing. it. Dion, you've got things everywhere. This, this is this is a layout that keeps on giving. I like that. I like the look of that with it. The old style. DJ, uh, place. Yeah. DJ K Triple Six is what happens if Gandalf is late? Gandalf's never late, he lives here. Yes. <laughs> yes, in the biscuit barrel. And occasionally oh, we tip wonderful. in more stuff. Um, Peter Jackson Cheadle Heath says Royal Train Whoa. Carriage. Now, it's an interesting point. One of the things that I talked with a manufacturer about was that there's some really great options to do some royal train carriages which have been done. There's a, that is a, there's a lot going on there. Yeah. That's great, but um shall we um shall we uh, get some other videos up Happy as well? to, yeah. My lord, thank you for sharing Thank those you so with much, us. Dion Wollaston, for sending those in. Absolutely. Like I said last week you were first up because of some reason we missed you last week. I yeah. don't know why. So if you'd like to check that the camera's working yeah, James Pett. Oh, yes, yeah, Topsy Toast is excited. Turntabled to 11. I like <laughs> it. I really do. Uh, Simon Snow says, just pre-ordered the latest Monday Club wagon. Thank oh, you. Thank you. So much. And uh, we couldn't do this without the support. We you really guys. couldn't. But honestly, it is selling 
so quick. It's actually selling quicker than the Acura scale wagon that we did as the very first commission. And I think that sold out about three weeks before they appeared um, uh, for dispatch. Um, this does feel like it's going to sell out in the next month or two. So yeah. um, if it's a must have for you, then do get your order in for the Monday Club Wagon because it will not be repeated. Um, so um, when they're gone, they're gone. Um, Dion Wollaston says, thank you ladies and everyone. You're absolutely welcome. Thank you for sharing with us. Um, Fly My Chen wants us, ooh, street running in Lagrange. Yes, um, there are some great street running. Are you all right? No. What's wrong? You know, the headache I kept getting. Is it like... It's you, getting worse. you got a migraine. No, it's... it's oh. Somewhere it's on the... It's in the same place. Yeah, Zoe, down there, paracetamol, take. Give me a second. Uh, John Walter says, this one needs to make a visit to the East Lancashire Railway again. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, they did have a Halloween weekend on, apparently it was very well subscribed. And Robert Stairs, MD, greetings to you. It's so great to see you and uh, hope the weather is well in Billings, Montana. Um, Wayne Gox says, thought about getting the five members of my band scanned playing outside my local pub. It would cost a fortune. The only thing you need to do is um, you need to take some guitars and, and stuff to uh, Warley, and you can get yourself scanned there. Uh, James Pett says, poor Zoe, get well soon. Uh, do take some of the paracetamol that's down there. Mm. Uh, Sarah Davis says, Zoe, have some chocolate. It, reduce, it, it releases endorphins. You've got to be careful, because chocolate in a lot of people can, can actually cause a migraine, so um, you've got to be a bit careful. Yeah. Uh, so, did you check that that camera angle yes. has come up? So, oh, oh my goodness. Uh, yes, Aaronville, I will, of course, sign all of the, the wagons. Of course you we can will. bring the first run, you can bring a PAL brick, or you can bring one of the new ones. I will always sign the wagons. And uh, we're, oh, we're going to be having the books. Actually, the books sold incredibly well at Gets. Thank you for your support on that. Thank you. They yes. are available if you um, go hunting on the website. Uh, but we will, um, if you see me in person, just ask about the books. Um, but I think I am also going to take West Hill Wagon Works up on their offer to get some of the um, JK signs in stock. Now, they, they won't be given away next time. They will become a, an item you can buy. They're not that expensive. I think they're about um, £3, something like that. Um, but um, it is something to uh, um, that w uh, shows I think we should have. So, um, up that now on the, the videos <laughs> is... This is Hanning Press, <coughs> Gordon Hanning, who again last week for some reason we missed because the the emails came in and then weren't in the in the list. Mm. So we're having a look at some uh, locomotives that he's picked up at a recent fair. There's two some great which, deals out there. Two of these locos had never run before. Okay. And the third one, his wife bought him. I love so the bridge. That's nice. Yeah, that was cool. Mm. It's a nice layout. We've seen the layout before. Oh my word, thank you so much. Robert Steers, MD, oh, very, very kindly donated. $9.99 on Super Chat. It says, for the loco funds. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you. Oh, that's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. These uh, are really nice. And lots of people ordering up the Monday Club wagon. Uh, thank you so much for your support. They are going incredibly quick, so if uh, the new Monday Club Wagon is uh, uh, an absolute must-have item for you, do get your order in, because um, we've sold two-thirds of the entire production it's run just in really just like slightly over two weeks. It's just unreal. This layout looks fun. I like a layout that looks a bit fun. It is fun, actually, yeah. So, choo-choo! Um, yeah, this, these are nice. Mm. Uh, oh, those stations look good as well. Are they? Were they mech? I'm, I'm thinking they probably are. I recognise them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like that bridge. Mm. You need something like a river or a canal underneath, I think. But uh, this will be the fiddle yard area. So uh, we've got plenty of tracks. Aaron Ville says, drink more water, Zoe. I've been drinking stuff all day. Well, drink more. Maybe you've had too much caffeine. I don't know. Possib it's a possibility. I do get headaches from caffeine. Busby Junction says, Wahoo! 
Ooh, a Monday Club wagon ordered. Looks amazing. They really, so I really much. like this. Like, I, nice, I, I'm this, actually uh, um, the livery is probably my favourite of all. Oh, we'll jump the song because so I think there's a third one. I think it's a third. Ah, oh, oh, dinky little thing. Is that uh, like a continental one? I like that. It's it's like uh, it's like a steam gronk. That is a, steam a dinky gronk, little thing, steam isn't it? Gronk. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that that is that's got a bit of uh, bit of charm to it. I like it. <clears throat> Absolutely. Well, look, thank you so much for sharing that with us. So um, we're going to move on to the thank next you so much, one. God. <laughs> so uh, just double check that camera's come on. Too much well, I haven't drowned. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a joke. You can actually. Uh, what was it encephalop? No, that's not encephalop. Isn't the thing. But you can. You can. You can uh, take too much water on. It's not like Dutch water torture. That like Dutch arm disease. It's a German shunter. Oh, interesting. A model. All oh, right. Uh, DCC locomotive James says I have ordered my Monday Club wagon. Boo! Topsy is very proud of you. Thank you so much. There's a and question from uh, from James. James Spinks. It says hi. Just wondering, would you and Jenny like to come up to visit my model, my model model railway group in Great Swaddling Coat, Burton upon Trent? Again, it all depends on time and if we're in the area. Yeah. Um, if we're in Send the area, us. we'll try and sort something out. But yeah. um, we can't. At this stage, guarantee anything. Although, if you send us details, we can we can see if we can do something. Chobberton Junction says, "Hey, everyone! A degree of lateness implied. A Monday clubber is never late to the wagons, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to." Thanks, Gandalf. Flymo Chairman One, thank you so much for sharing that link. That's to where you can order the new Monday Club wagon, and it's um, it will be over two thirds now. It was precise thing, um, two thirds sold out before, but it's just amazing support from you guys. Thank mm. you so much. And Nick Garolamo says, "Night all, off to lay some more tracks in the loft. Well, you have yourself a good time. Um, keep it fun." So this is the Spa Valley Railway Diesel Gala from Let's Make Tracks. Yes, I see. now I've this been... looks rather interesting. So um... It's a long one, so we're not going to show it all. But if you press the button, please, Jen. Okay, so there we go. So, ooh. Oh, my goodness, the but camera I'm... work makes it look like this is real. Oh, you're so funny. I know. <laughs> so that looks like Hunslet Austerity there on the left. Very much a maligned um, locomotive, but definitely um, the early backbone of the preservation world. A lot of them put in sterling service in the early days of uh, railways like the Great Central Railway and such like. Um, but there's, um, I mean, that could also be, that might be the boiler of a Hunslet Austerity. I'm not sure what that is. But it's always nice when you can go and have a look around the sheds. Yeah. I'm going to jump uh, this on a little bit, see what mm. else we've got. Ooh. And don't forget, everybody, tickle the like button, share us to social media, and um, subscribe to the channel. And even if you are subscribed, do check that you've rung the bell. It's very important because YouTube is very, very keen to hide stuff from people who don't ring the bell. So yes. even if you are already subscribed, you do need to get that bell rung to make sure that you know about the new videos as and when they go up. Um, so this is a uh, class 33, a bit sleety that rain. Oh, about to buffer up to... Buffer up, baby! What loco is that? Does any, anybody know what that is? Um, it's, a, it's a locomotive. Oh, interesting. Warbler Productions says that's uh, Robert Stevenson Hawthorne. Ugly, as used at Mare de Monster, not the austerity. No, this is something else. That's a Great Eastern Railway blue one. It's the same locomotive, 2890. It's the same one, they've buffered up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that the one which, um, it's actually made from a, a, an austerity. I think that's the one that's the austerity that's been um, done up as a, um, as a tender locomotive. It was at the East Lanks Railway. Um, it's, it, I, I think it looks really nice. Um, there's um, some lovely locos in the back background there. Yeah, it's like Donald and Douglas. Huh. So, um, 
It's an austerity tank converted to Douglas. Yeah, actually, it, to be honest with you, it, I, I like it. I really do. Mm. Um, I'm going to jump it on again. Mm. Oh, we got it. It's more of this... Class uh, 25 arrives. Beep, beep. That's a class 33. Oh, look, a Queen Mary in the background. I do like the Queen Mary brake bands. <laughs> Um, so this is a class 33 buffering up. Doink. Oof. Hmm. Ta-da. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, no hands. <laughs> Apparently it's black, not Prussian blue. Um, Harry Sedgwick points out. And light can really uh, change um, how things look. That oh. is the best way to see a, uh, a railway in the yeah. rain. Yeah, especially on a rainy day. There's a, yeah. It's the only way to fly. And the frustrated modeler says, spot on, Jenny. <laughs> um, John Walter says, imagine seeing a real ghost train. And I mean a train running at night through towns and villages. It'd be even scarier if there wasn't a railway line there. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> this is the road, get off! It's supposed to be like a, a late night parliamentary train. Uh, you could go through, is it Reddish North? It's either Reddish North or Reddish South. There's like one train a week. Uh, and only in one direction. Who have we got here? There's all kinds going on here. Ooh. The Birchton Triangle. No train has ever come out of the Birchton Triangle. Once you go inside, they just go missing. Hmm. So this is, I mean, it's, it, I, I always mm -hmm. encourage people to um, do visit your local heritage railway. It's a nice it's, day out. Absolutely. It's also a great way of getting inspiration. Oh, Gronk it up! Gronk it up! Gronk it up! Not, Not a, a cult. cult for legal and tax purposes. Yes. Oh, oh well, nice. Very... Oh, bit of a Dutch angle. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Ruben Ashwell says I was on a train between Sheffield and Leicester, where the lights in the carriage went out during the journey on Saturday evening. I remember. Um, oh, seventy-three on the end there. Number seventy-three. Um, that so... was brilliant. Thank you so much for sending this in. Yeah, we're, we're really enjoying this. Yeah. Thank you so much. We can't show it all, of course, so I have put mm. the link in. It's, it's uh, half uh, an hour long. You'll enjoy it. Yeah. So, um... Thank you very much there, Peter, for sending that do in. Do check that the camera is working. Why would I do that? Because oh, I keep asking. Jen, while we're on, do we have a sponsor? Yes, we do. Shall, shall I give a blast of the new sponsor? Yes. Hello, and welcome to WWC Next. We are an award-winning specialist and manufacturer for miniature scenery modelling. We are proud to have produced one of the best-selling ProGrass micro applicators and we've refined our quality products and systems with both beginners and expert modellers in mind. We supply and manufacture everything you may need from static glass applicators, static glass tufts, handcrafted MDF and hand poured resin products, all designed and curated in house with you, the modeler in mind. You can find us at www.cmix.com or in store at you. So, um, you just jumped straight back in without uh, letting them finish. Oh, I didn't realize the... he was still talking. Yes, you've got to look at the uh, sound levels, Jen. Oh, I'm sorry, we just cut the sponsor off. But War World Scenics, and as I always say, if you see grass, in my model railway builds, you are looking at War World Scenics products. So you have a question you yes. want to ask. During that uh, sponsorship uh, video, there's a bit where they're holding the um, the shaker uh -huh. for the static grass. Yes. But they have the clip in their hand, not actually on the base, on the board, just holding it while they shake. You just and need it's to ground still working. It. Yeah, um, all you need to do is ground it to something. It doesn't even have to be to the baseboard. Right, so um, them holding it essentially yeah, is grounding it. Yeah, if you it. hold it, it will ground through you. Right. Um, essentially, o over a period of time, you will become charged. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, Let's Make Track says, thank you, that was last week's Link Mishap. And yes, Spar Valley Railway Shed 75F was the inspiration for my diorama entry. Nice. Excellent. Um, James Pett says, I love the South Welsh accent in this advert. Oh, that's lovely. Don't <laughs> take the mick. I'm not taking the mick. Actually, you're allowed. You're, I you're, am allowed. You're I'm half from there. Welsh. Yeah, you grew up for a while there. Didn't I you? lived in Wales, in the Ostrogon Rice Valley, just up from Swansea. Be here, be there. Never when you're Yes. Right, Ben tells... And all the Welsh people are gone, why are you talking gibberish? 
And Ben Teller asks, I wonder if War World Scenics will be doing multicoloured sheep again this year's Warly. Ah, uh, yeah, with the, with, the, with the poopy bottoms. <laughs> yeah, but re we look at real sheep, they've got poopy bottoms. Ah. Uh, Flower Channel says, as long as it's in proximity to the shaker. But yeah, static grass. It, it's it's really changed how we make models. Right, so... Um, I, I just have to sort this one out, hang on. Because uh, it came through... No I've pressed the wrong button and it started to autoplay, so you got a little bit of a blast of stuff there. I apologise, Billy's replacement speakers has been in uh, in situ. Yeah, Raymond Legg says if there's grass in the applicator, shake away. Absolutely, and you can get such a great effect so quickly and with minimum effort. It really is the way ahead. I'm going to need you uh, to teach me how to do that for when I do yeah. Ham the Shackle box file layout. Ham Shackleton says, ah, my speakers. I apologise. Yes. Yes. Billy's Replacement Speakers <laughs> presents. So, this one is from Going to the Dogs, who says, uh, here's a short video on a Class 37025 named Inverness TMD that I thought you could use for Monday night. It's one that he mentioned uh, when he was talking to us at uh, Getz. So All right. here we go. Excellent. Eh? Right. Can you press the button? Yeah, can you press the button? I've pressed the button, yes. Press it. Give me a moment. Oh my goodness, what are you like? There we are. Inverness TMD 37025. Non-standard, over-large, double-arrow logo. Yeah. Nicely done as well. And um, some really great ground cover as well there. The mix between the ballast and... And that's actually quite um, quite a, a, um, a tight turn on there. I quite like that. That's, that um, is a large double-arrow. Someone really, really yes, went to, to town Somebody went, one. oh, you want a big one, do you? <laughs> I'll give you a big one. Hey. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Um... This is nice. Enter the workshop. This is a nice Ooh, I like looking your, I like your, is that one of the, Oh, look, look, the lifting jacks. Ah. Nice. This is a really nice looking layout. Don gets model railways asks, can anyone confirm if an Acura Scale 92 wants a DCC decoder with full power output or logic level output? Well, I know, I know somebody who might be, a, who might know. New Junction, New Junction, New Junction. Come on. Uh, uh, you need to come and talk shop. People are asking <laughs> questions. Um, I, I like that. Uh, is that with the ratio crane? Really nice. <laughs> They've changed it. Oh, right. So, so it's re that is really nicely done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got two locomotives, but showing at different stages of their life. Yeah. So we can do a, a repaint. That, nice. is, that is actually quite cool. There, yeah. There's a lot of uh, play value in that, as, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. as uh, people might say. I like your ballast <laughs> bins as well, and your gates. Nice. This is a nice little layout. Yeah. Richard Swiderski says, great layout. Peter Jackson Cheadle here says, nice scene. Nice. It's a really well done ballast as well. Yeah, it looks lovely. Mmm. Yeah. I, I've said this before, but your eye does like texture. Texture and colour, really important. So, this is, <laughs> I've never seen this that is cool. <laughs> done before. <coughs> <coughs> Are you okay, Jan? Yeah, don't you mind me. <laughs> that was, that was Check really the well cameras, done. Bro. I will. Mm. I've got a tickly cough, don't worry. It says, oh, it's me. You've got a kickly tough. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Thank you so much for going to the dogs for sending that in. So we do have a fair amount of other of stuff still to go. <laughs> but uh, we've got a, a message here from GJK666 saying uh, he's currently enjoying the Monday Club. A test plank and a Lima 52 chassis being uh, cured off after being put back together. Excellent. So that's <laughs> actually rather cool if you press the button. <coughs> there we go. Very nice. <coughs> Being cured off. Wow. Oh wow. It's very meta, isn't it? Look, it's it's us watching us. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yeah. At uh, Richard's with us. <laughs> yes. Don't mind if I do. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you for sending that in. That's great. 
Thank you. And yes, Wamgok, I will be putting a call in to Billy's replacement lungs. You can't have mine, I'm, I'm using them. <laughs> I need them for breathing. You can have one. Oh, that's very nice of you. Yeah, I didn't say which uh, one, though. Have you checked the camera top? Yes. Good, good, good. Next up we have... I'm just checking... Oh, oh, I know what this is. It's one of the signs. Yeah. So uh, this is Monday Club Photos JK Wear Yard sign. Um, from Pioneer YH1 who says, Hope, hope you're all feeling better. Thanks again for the gift of the JK sign from Getz. It's now installed on the junction, although it appears vandals have got to it already. The police are attending. And there's a reporter and photographer from Hornby magazine catching the action and making the scoop. Although <laughs> that is cool. although autocorrect got in there and it became Horny magazine. <laughs> <laughs> that is so hilarious. I'm bring oh, this up. That is hilarious. Right. Instead of we're yard, we, we're odd. <laughs> oh, I like that. That is nicely that is done. Oh, so good. <laughs> Wamgok says uh, a large scotch always helps. Nice. Oh, that is so well That's done. actually really nice. Certainly, um, yeah, for... He's... That is really well done. He's made it look so... worn. <laughs> that is... Oh, that is amazing. Oh, that is nicely distressed. That's fantastic. This is lovely. I am seriously impressed with that. That is so That's better gorgeous. than my painting job. <laughs> yep, oh. there's Hobby Magazine. Yeah. <laughs> That is very well done. Thank mm. you so much for sending that in. Absolutely. So now press the magic button. <laughs> press the magic button. Did it work? Yes, it did. We can see Jenny's layout here. I can't make that rhyme. Iron Horse Railway says, great job, bud. I've yet to use mine. And you had yours, but like a week before anybody else. <laughs> But um, I, I, I was blown away how popular they were. We were all yeah. out by like um, just before lunch on, on the Sunday. Yes, it, it was it was sad that we had to tell people that they were too late. Who mm. they weren't been able to make it in earlier. But it's just how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just uh, <clears throat> next up from who is this? Uh, Peter Jackson at Cheadle Heath. who says uh, here's another video for our consideration and delectation for showing on the Monday Club. And he says, uh, it shows some views of X Trafford Park Loco number 32, Gothenburg, which is now repainted into black, and is doing some shunting around Bury Bolton Street Station during the East Lanks Railway Autumn Steam Gala. So that's going to be rather nice. And John Walter says, I could get a bus from Holleth Wood straight to Ramsbottom once, but can still get straight to Bury for the East Lancashire Railway. And Flymer Chairman would say that I think the sign was... Um, Verdigree and copper finish. Oh, this is nice. This is Berry Bolton Street Station. Mm. Um, uh, it's the junction at the <laughs> south end of the platform. It, it's one of the most impressive um, uh, sets of track work out there on preserved railways because you you very rarely have a, an active junction such as that where the Heritage Railway has control of both directions. Um, so. There's a oh, nice gunpowder van. All right, oh, get those cigarettes out. Just there in time for the 5th of November. No brake fan on the end, though. So, um, obviously, Look, that's, Lord, no brakes. That's only going as far as um, the, the goods yard on the other side of the little tunnel. But yeah, wow, uh, nice that steam weather. looks like it's CG'd on. It's, it's unreal. Um, <laughs> I mean, it is real, but and here we are. The way Do it was interacting with the sky was unreal. So doing some shunting at the goods yard, which is just through the tunnel. So um, where you see that signal behind, for those who don't know the East Lake Railway, there's a tunnel there, very short tunnel, and it comes out um, back where you saw the locomotive heading. So at the moment, it's just backing these uh, into the sidings. Some really tight track work here. Mm. Um, and if you ever see a locomotive go round, it, it generally has to be a little short wheelbase job and they squeal round the curves and that tanker the british tar products at caddis head um that tanker could conceivably have back in the day worked with that locomotive because that was on the msc system d827 kelly says evening been busy this evening so late joining 
A Monday clopper is never late to the wagons, nor are they early. <coughs> they arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Thanks Gandalf. Gandalf. Um, oh, this is an anger you don't often see. Uh, David Scott says, uh, if I remember correctly, um, Gothenburg has flangeless centre wheels. And um, Peter Jackson Cheadle here says it did derail the next day. And um, that is very, very tight track work. Basically, it does a 90 degree curve in a very, very small space. This is definitely an area you don't often see in videos like this. Mm. And Warbler Production says Porth Manic has three junctions controlled by Heritage Railway. Nice. Yeah, I do, I, they do exist, but certainly at Berry, you, yeah, there's a lot going on. You've got the goods yard as well, as you see here. Yeah. So you can wander out of the station, go over the, the, the road, and uh, there's like a car park, and you, you end up at the other end of the tunnel. Um, and this is where you end up, and there's a museum in the, um, the shed. I'll go jump it on a little bit. I'm surprised to see them so frequently using this track work for shunting. Mm. Um, ben asks, did you see the video of a steam tank loco struggling to pull the coaches out of that yard? I'm actually quite surprised that they, um, if they get coaches round those curves, that is pretty severe mm. um, curved track work. <laughs> beep beep, here it goes. And it's off beep beep. I must say, actually, the um, MSC um, Hunslet Tanks, that's another area where I think that, um, yeah, see, I mean, I think it's more of a Rapido thing, but certainly some of these MSC locomotives, I think, would make great models. And industrial stuff is kind of um, getting bigger and bigger. What's that tiny little thing there, that little truck? That's um, a BA container on a conflat wagon. Nice. So that container can be lifted off. Again, the brake fan's right next to the locomotive. I suppose if it's um, through, um, uh, got a through brake pipe, then... As These long angles as all... are great. It makes it look real. Mm, well... <sighs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> but... Um, I always wonder, does the brake van have to be at the end, or if they're all um, through piped, including the brake van, so there's no swingers on the train, does that mean that you don't need the brake van at the end of the train? I'm Is this a thing that you don't know? My goodness. So yes, if anyone can answer that, uh, please do tell us, because apparently Jenny doesn't know. Mm, look at the oily, grimy track, though, between the platforms. Oh, yeah, of course. Again, so. well worth modelling. Uh, Richard Swinowski Thank you so says, much yes, for sending this in. Yes, Jenny, get Rapido to make that loco. Don't you worry, I have been dropping hints. Thank you so much for sending that in there, mm. Peter. That was great. Uh, Wangok says, looks like either the engine. Ooh. So, we have a, f a fair few more, actually. I don't think we're going to get through everything tonight, but we do yeah. have uh, a message from the 70s. Because Mark Wilson has been Mark firing Wilson up his DeLorean. Mark Wilson has been, uh, been back in time with Jen, his DeLorean. You will love this. This is this is incredible. Yeah. And Mark Wilson, why did did you did you submit one of these as a photo for the Hornby competition? Please, because please I'll be honest, that you did. if you the fact that you're not in the list that they're asking people to vote for, you can't have sent one in because if you had, you should have won. Don gets model railway says if the train is fully fitted, it doesn't actually need a brake van at all. Uh, Ham Shackleton says with unbrake stock, they had to have the brake van at the back to stop the concertina. In fact, with brake stock, it doesn't matter. Oh my goodness! Yes, Look Sarah Davis, swingers is the is is the slang ra railwayman's term for unbraked vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> and I've Aaron, been on the internet too long. <laughs> Aaron Phil says thanks, Tim Krinsky, for uh, the Jenny Kirk membership last week. Yes, yes. Tim was incredibly generous and donated fifty channel memberships. These are just amazing shots. Mm. Yeah, Richard Swinowski, you're right. These do <coughs> look real. Um, Mark, you've got to tell us your secret. How are you going back in time? <laughs> Oh. And there's a lot down to lighting, you know. The lighting, the composition, 
and also the um, um, the weathering, very mm. subtle weathering. Yeah, the, like, look at the way he's picked out some of these bricks. So Mark like, Wilson says so he good. didn't. He, he likes to give somebody else a chance. No, you should have done. You'd have broken Hornby. Yeah, so, they'd have been like, um, we can't tell if this is real or not. <laughs> you'd, you'd have had to have slipped a tension lock coupling in somewhere just to prove it was real. Yeah. <laughs> Dog is dying on cars. Remember to crack a window. <laughs> look at that. I mean, the, and, the, like, look at the weathering pattern on the windscreens where the the wipers have been. And really on the brickwork, so well done. This oh is just God. like yeah. Mike Lane TT one twenty. You have to press the like button for this. I'm sorry, but <coughs> if, if you told me that was real, I would believe you. This is so good. And David Scott says, through braking won't stop wagons running away if you get a coupling brake. Oh my goodness. That's an interesting point. Um, but it, uh, I thought that... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Would the, bra the brakes would come on, though, when the vacuum's destroyed. So a vacuum-braked wagon that brakes free, its brakes would come on, would it not? And there's a slight blue-green tinge. Yeah, like old um, black and white um, film from the um, sort of... 60s and 70s. Yeah. Really, really lovely. Warbler Productions says, Mark, I really do enjoy your pictures. They truly are works of art, both pictures and the scenes they are taking. And this on. one's interesting because it's got a slight red tint. Yeah, yeah. Ben Toilet says, Mark Wilson, you really need to take these on tour to show. Yeah. Absolutely. And D eight two seven Kelly says, if I remember correctly, only air brake wagons later would have no brake band. Peter Jackson Cheadle Heath says it really does look like old oak common in nineteen seventy seven. Yes, it looks real. <coughs> if Absolutely. you told me these were real, I would believe you. Yeah. It's that level. It really is impressive. What happened? Nothing. I thought suddenly the trains had gone quiet. Yeah, the really, really long one, I think the 46 doesn't quite have enough traction when it goes around there. And yeah, Hanning's Rest Model Rails, these really are the best Model Rail photos yeah. I've seen as it's well. Like, this is just amazing. Yeah. Simply amazing. It's like, yeah, Flyer My Chairman wants us, that's the money shot. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The eye for detail and mm. shot composition. Composition, angle, oh. lighting, subtle weathering. And I even like look at the like the, the patch patched bricks and the oil stains yeah, and the turntable well. This is what I was saying earlier. It looks real. If you told me that was real, I would say yes, that, that probably is. Thank you so much for sending these in. This is like oh my goodness. Yeah, James Pet says this is impressive. I am. They impressed. really are Absolutely. impressive. Thank you so much for sending those in. <coughs> Absolutely, it's always a pleasure. Um, D eight two seven Kelly says can't beat some hydraulic action. It's one of the D eight two seven. No, but my class forty two is um, a D eight two seven Kelly. I have the Backman model of that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so this is from Simon Poole, who says good evening, Jenny and Zoe. Good evening. Um, it says, I finally caught one of your services to Eindhoven that you announced at the end of the show. And here are a few photos from Eindhoven. On a serious note, these were taken in August 2016 when I was visiting Belgium, the Netherlands and Germany when visiting the railways over there, but did see some NS Inter Invercity um, Materiel, also known as Koploppa. And a few freight trains. And remember to gronk it up, gronk it up, gronk it up. Not a cult for legal and tax purposes. <coughs> for tax and legal purposes, we must state that the gronk it up club is not a cult. <coughs> All marriage may vary. So here we go. So these are from Eindhoven, if you press oh. the button. Button okay. is pressed. This is an impressive looking thing. I, <coughs> they, <coughs> I take it the driver's up here. Uh, and I then it's like so. just engine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a quite a quite a beefy boy on the front there. Yeah, it's like they've got the whole engine and just stood it upright. That is quite big. Yeah. <coughs> so <coughs> the tracks seem remarkably close to the floor. 
Are we the only place that bothers to know. raise our platforms? Mm. I don't know. And thank you, Flymo Chairman One, for sharing the Model U 3D model of Mini Me. So what is this? Aaron Bill says Jenny and Zoe needs to do a video visit to Mark Wilson. Yes, we we uh, we have to. chatted with Mark when we were at Getz. It is something we would like to do in the future. That's uh, a door and for, oh right. So this is interesting. I like the the look uh, of it. Okay. It's got a very 80s look to it, doesn't it? Uh, Wouldn't you say? I'd say 90s. It could be a I love it. It's a weird I, I need thing. one of these in model form. Look at it. It's just so, like, uh, it looks that, like it's from Star Wars. It does look like that's a door at the front. That's a class 66. Yeah, that. yeah that's, a, that's, a, that's something from Star Wars, and it's got a little horn, so it goes... <laughs> <laughs> so what's this? Do you think that's a class 66? Yeah, that's a class 66. Okay. Just... They do work in Europe. There are a lot of them about. Oh, it is! Yes! Yes, there we go. There you go. Yeah. See, fear my ability. Different looking uh, overhead lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though. Which is interesting. I would have thought that they'd oh. have unified all of these signs. Yeah. Simon Train's Mother Row showcases. That, that's a kaplopper. That, ah. that was the, the weird looking one. A right. European platforms are lower, and where trams use them, to level to the road. Right, that explains it. So, oh yeah, look, they are. Yeah, look. yeah. And hot dog pilot Andy says used to be <laughs> corridor equipped. The 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 kaplopper, kaplopper. It just looks like something from Star Wars. I yeah. think they're cool, yeah. and I need one. R two D two, B, where are you? If you could press the button, please. Button press. So, that was wonderful. Thank you so much for sending those in, Simon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe do a couple of them. It's one on eBay. Cool, I'll have oh, a look. Right. We've still got quite a few videos to get. We have How a lot. Not... Oh, we, we've basically got enough time for maybe... Maybe one more. One more. So let's do this one. Oh, this is, oh, from... This is from Eric Bray, who uh, sent in a picture. Oh, there's the glow-in-the-dark paint. Oh, so it does glow. Look at that. We could definitely make a ghost train. I need to do that for next year. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna right. So, um, just check the thing you came up. There we go. Right. Um, so we've got enough time for one more if we're quick. Yes. So Roger Windsor. Uh oh, that's a. Uh... Can't play it because we it's can't play attached. it. It, it isn't. Um, it needs to be a link. To, yeah. Um, Unfortunately, not... because of the way that Gmail works, Roger, um, it will knock out the live stream if we try to play it. We've done this before, and we yeah, actually yeah, went yeah. offline, which is um, unfortunate. <laughs> and so. uh, Nick at Bletchton High Level says Hornby have very kindly donated all of their remaining live stream spares. From John Humphreys' workbench to the OO Live Steam Club. This oh, will that's ensure wonderful. we can keep members' locos in tip top condition. That's Excellent. wonderful. That, I, I'm really happy to hear that. Don gets model railway says maybe one more. How is two hours passed already? I know. It, it goes quickly, doesn't it? So Absolutely does. For, for our final one tonight, we, we will we will <coughs> turn, uh, keep all of the ones that we haven't mm. got to yet and play them next week we will do for our final one this is uh peachy tt120 who sent in a video about the pico seven plant wagons and our short running session so here we go so okay we press that yes button is pressed ah john jmc the guru sound um, just have the, okay, the, they, the link. You know, TD One Hundred and Twenty is impressive. They look nice. So, so there'll be a lot of talking. He's, uh, in this. he's doing his review at the at the start. These I recognise that. Quite nice. I, I think... recognise that green. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's got the same uh, cutting yeah, board as you. I think we they do come in to... such tiny yeah, boxes as well. we need to get some of these. These look yes. really nice. I, I would love to expand this. <gasps> oh, I need this style. I love the old styles. They're lovely. They're the wonderful. The quality on the printing really is exquisite. Yes. So okay, um, we need to we need to see these. So there's few people having to go. Don't forget as well that Zoe will be doing the Game Hammer Classic Gaming stream after this. And you will get the option to be passed straight on over to your so live nice streaming to, enjoyment. I've been well nice to jump to 11.52 for the rowing <laughs> session. Here we go. That looks it's lovely. It's a good range of wagons, that is a, TT120. Yeah. That is a nice uh, 
station as well. Looks yeah, 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 yeah. There's a haunted Halloween railway as well. Oh, a Gronk! Hello, oh, Gronky! 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 Hashtag not a cult for <laughs> legal and tax purposes. <laughs> um, this is wonderful. James Pets, of course, approves of live streaming enjoyment. Absolutely. And Brian. And Brian uh, Quadruple X has just paid over four hundred pounds for an original great rock and roll swindle LP plus DVD. That's a lot. Wow, for that an is LP. a lot. Oh, um, oh, Carlton this Tweedle so says good. a great show is normal, ladies. I also have the Lurgy. Unfortunately, the Lurgy is doing the rounds. It's this is a lovely layout. Hey God, you've got a lot of tracks on there. That is nice. Yeah. Beep beep. That's oh, Gronk Gronk. I can say beep beep if I want. Mm. And don't forget, anybody's not yet tickled that like button, please do so. And subscribe to the channel and uh, ring the bell. Really important. If you subscribe to the channel but you don't ring the bell, YouTube is very good at hiding stuff from you. So do tickle that bell. Um, even if you are subscribed, check and make sure. This but, is a um, nice uh, little yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, running session. Absolutely. So thank you so much for sharing this with us. Um, Caroline Rogers says you should get these wagons, they are great. We have the Cadbury's one and Coleman one. They look it's, it's only four feet by three feet. This you, get a, lo you get a lot for your uh, space Can in Can I just say, this is not that much uh, bigger than Minith Tatus. Minith Tatus is three foot by three foot. This is three foot by four foot. So, um, oh, sorry, uh, the, um, the uh, Monday Night Memorial joke. <clears throat> Will Tucker says, those Pico TT120 wagons cut the mustard. Yes, <laughs> they do. This yeah. looks fantastic. Thank this you so nice. much for sending this in. So look, um, uh, we, we posted the link up for the full video, yep. but um, we're going to have to round off tonight. So thank you so much for everybody who sent stuff in. Um, uh, ben asks, is, it, is TT better than N? Um, it's true to scale. Um, it's slightly bigger, but it has a, a lot of a, a lot of benefits. N gauge also has a lot of benefits. I, I wouldn't it like. Depends to on what them. you want to do. Yeah, I like TT, and I think because it's an entire system, effectively done from scratch, it can do away with a lot of the compromises that have become part of Double O and part of N gauge, and that's where it really does shine. Yeah. But um, it's still a growing um, system. Um, we'll see how it goes. But I am glad that it's had the uptake that it has. Because yeah. it, it definitely deserves the fan base. It's yeah. a good system. And TT120 is a thing in continental Europe. So um, I think there's also an element for the first time. Um, UK modelers and continental modelers can mix and match stock. And they're all in scale with each other. But uh, look, until next time, uh, we are going to be saying goodbye. I'm going to uh, take uh, Topsy's hand and prod the monkey. There we go. And so before we go, Jen, do we have a sponsor? Yes, and we can do. Can you not cut them <laughs> off this time? Oh, okay. Why don't you rub it in and draw attention? Okay. So I'd uh, just like to thank War World Scenics, who is our sponsor for the Monday Club. And as I always say, if you see grass on any of my models, you are seeing War World Scenics products. Hello, and welcome to WW Scenics. We are an award-winning specialist and manufacturer for miniature scenery modelling. We are proud to have produced one of the best-selling ProGrass micro applicators and we've refined our quality products and systems with both beginners and expert modelers in mind. We supply and manufacture everything you may need from static glass applicators, static glass tufts, handcrafted MDF and hand poured resin products, all designed and curated in-house with you, the modeler, in mind. You can find us at www.cmix.com or in store at Unit 6, Buford Court, Plasmal, Swansea. So thank you everybody for coming tonight. We've just got time to say your live streaming entertainment will continue in a bit once the monkey of madness is set up. But thank you everybody for coming. Do tickle the like button, share the video to social media 
and subscribe to the channel and ring that bell really important ring even if you are um, already subscribed you can also check us out over on patreon where we've got a number of great rewards for multiple different tiers and all you guys should do absolute legend thank you everybody who has donated on super chat and paypal.me it really does help keep the lights on now that i've gone full time doing this um which is it is quite a big pay cut, I will it, tell you it, that. It's scary for you as well, isn't it? It is quite scary. Um, but, you yeah, know, we're going to make this happen. Um, I just didn't have the time to do two full-time jobs um, at once. So we're going to make this happen. But until next time, you guys, take great care of yourself. Happy modelling. Bye for now. Bye-bye. The train now departing is the 2104 service to... Grove Street Yard, stopping at Bolton <coughs> Trinity Road, Minnith Tatis, Tatis Neweth, the unnamed layout, Eindhoven, some box file layouts that uh, Zoe is going to build, Pittsburgh somehow, and then on to Grove Street Yard. That's the 2104 service to Grove Street Yard. If you go up to the loft today, you're <coughs> sure of a big surprise. If you go up to the loft today, you'll never believe your eyes. For every train there ever was has gathered there together because today's the day that Jenny does the Monday Club. Good night.
Mm-hmm. Toto wagons, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Take care, everyone. We're going to be um, heading off here now. But don't worry, your live streaming entertainment does continue over on Game Hammer Classic Gaming. You'll get a prompt, just click yes, and you will automatically be moved over. But from everybody here at Weir Yard, you take great care. Have yourself a great evening. Take care. Bye for now. And happy modelling. <laughs>